Yeah, hi, let me quickly show you the match frame to source sequence tool, which I've just written for automation blocks for Premiere Pro. You just click on it in the library to, to load it. Um, and if you don't have it in your library yet, make sure to, to download the XML file uh, and place it in your user library. Um, it works like this. Here I've got a source sequence and let's say I copy some file from here to there. And let's copy another one and insert it maybe there. Um, and now if you're here with your current playhead and you wonder, oh, where did I actually took this clip from from here? Uh, just make sure in the input, so after you've selected this tool, you enter here the name of the sequence you want to use. I named this source, so I just put here source, which I already have. And then if I click run, it finds the same clip here in my uh, sequence and also finds the right uh, section of it, so to speak. So it jumps to exactly the same point in the sequence. And if I say, okay, where did I take this from? Just run the tool again, and it finds it and uh, jumps to the correct frame. And that's really all there is to say. If you wonder how automation blocks is working, um, let me just maximize this window here. So the full code for this tool that performs this job is this here. And you can uh, look at the code to, to change it, to understand it in, in full detail. Uh, effectively, what it just does, it here it reads the source name. Here it checks if the sequence actually exists. If not, it gives an error message. And here it looks at all clips at the current time in my active sequence. So this means if you've got several clips here in several tracks, it will look at all of them and see if it can find any of them here in the source sequence. Yeah, so it also should work with multiple of these clips. With all these clips, it tries to find them in the source sequence. What does it mean to find it in the source sequence? This is explained or described in, in this block here. What does it mean to find the clip in the source sequence? Well, it goes over all clips in the source sequence. Then it checks if it's the same uh, project item. Yeah, if it's a project item we are looking for. Then it checks if the in point is less or is smaller than the point that we are looking for. Then it checks if the out point is larger or equal to the time we are looking for. If all of this is the case, we know, yes, we've got the right item. We are uh, before the in point and after the out point of this source clip. And then we set the playhead accordingly. So this is how you can write your own tools in automation blocks. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope that this tool is what you need. If not, we can also adjust it here. I'm happy about any feedback.